Welcome back to Garfield the Lightning's Black 2 Unevolved playthrough. I've been through areas 1 and 2 of Black Tower, but those were just warm ups really. The tutorial's ended now, so let's go into area 3, where the real challenge begins. So, yeah, if you uh, missed the little bonus episodes that I did before this one and after the previous Black Tower um, little normal video, you could say. You can go check that out, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's just uh, basically me narrating Brighton Man movies, so <laughs> if that sounds like fun, then feel free to check it out. If not, then, well, I've got a lot... well, just... And if you just want to watch the normal battles and stuff, then you've... well, this is the, this is the right video. So, anyway, I need um, some hints on how to get to the gate train. I'm not sure whether to battle this person or someone else. I guess I might as well battle her, why not? Wait, what? What? Are you kidding me? Did I... what? Oh, wow. Uh, okay, okay. Well... Great, I guess. Okay, so I, the very first trainer I ran into turns out to be the gate trainer. I, I'm... I am pretty much speechless, actually. I did not expect that to happen at all. Oh, oh well, um, guess I can't complain, although I can't hit this ponytail, that's, yeah, can't hit this ponytail, but wait until it comes down, I'll just have to wait to turn foul playing, oh cool, it missed me. Well, okay, I've got, I think I've got over my shock now, I'm gonna focus on this battle. Oh jeez, just eating up my trick room turns like, n like nobody's business at the moment. Whatever, I can just keep going for things that will miss. Bounce doesn't do a lot to me because I've got Eevee Light. Uh, okay, what turn of Trick Room is this? Use Trick Room once, and then Foul Play, Psychic, Foul Play... I think that was the last turn, actually. Yeah, it was. Okay, you got a Mulga next, huh? Well... Cathita might still be... might still do okay, you know? So let's just try that. Try setting up a trick room again. Oh, it's got light stream, huh? That's going to be annoying. It's going to mean that I can't really... Well, I can try hitting this psychic, but it won't do very much. Uh, hmm, I might just have to go out into something else. Sandile, Magnemite, one of those. Eh, uh, well, it might know Air Slash or something. Well, actually, Magnemite couldn't do much anyway. I might just stay in and hit it with foul play. I don't know what it is that this Imolga knows. Oh jeez, that did a lot. Well, it would if it was critical hit, I guess. And the Acrobatics did a lot, too. Well, there you go then. That's the gate trainer knocked out. Still a bit surprised. But there you go. Okay, well, I don't know where the gate is, though. She'll point me in the rough direction, though. To the northeast, huh? I want to find a doctor on the way, just in case the boss train turns out to be really tough. I would like my... Okay, it's right here. Okay, so the gate's right here. But I want to find a doctor. And I'm not sure I can sneak past... I'm not confident in my ability to sneak past those trainers. So let's just go around somewhere. There's usually... I think there's a doctor. There's always at least one on every floor. Um. Okay, let's see. Just want to walk slowly because if you run, they turn in your direction. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, up there is where the gate is. Here's a doctor. Uh, better not send Gathita out first. Only at 16 HP. There's no real point. Okay. <laughs> well, um, uh, I hope Area 4 is... Well, I mean, I guess it's not bad that I found the gate trainer straight away, but it doesn't let me... I kind of like looking around. kind of like struggling a little bit, you know? Oh, great. It seems I get rid of Energy Ball and Litwick for Will-O-Wisp, but this Remonade shows up. That's, uh, yeah, kind of lame. Oh, well. 
Well, I guess I will have to switch out then. Let's go into Ultra Watch. I can hit it with, it, and then I can resist that water move that it didn't use. Yep, that's right. Watch it, you pull something out completely random out, like charge beam or something. I think I might be faster than this Rem Raid. Okay, I'm not. Never mind. Couldn't remember what Rem Raid speed was. I guess it's, fa I guess it's faster than I thought. I think artillery is actually slower than Rem Raid, come to think of it. Some big one do that. They lose speed when they evolve. Actually, Magneton loses speed when it evolves. Which is pretty, pretty weird, but there you go. Uh, ooh. Psyduck. Now, if Cathedra's faster than Psyduck, maybe I can knock it out with Thunderbolt. I mean, I don't really lose anything by going for it because I got loads of other Pokemon to take care of it, and if it fails, it fails, you know? So let's have a look and see how much Thunderbolt will do. There you go, knocked it out. Great. More experience with Cathedra is always welcome. Right, so that's my Pokemon healed up now. Right, what's the best way to get in? Because those two, it's kind of annoying how there are two trainers in there. I have to sneak past them both to get to the gate. Uh, we'll put the feet out in front again. Um, let's see what happens if I go this way. Oh great, it's... Oh, man. It was like a nightmare to try and sneak past those. Let me just go down here again. Let's just have a look and see what the situation is if I go in here. Right, okay. I think I can just sneak past them if I go... Uh, hold on. Yeah, they just can't see me if I'm like that. Uh, I can just go over here and go over here, and there we go. Now I've sneaked past, now I've sneaked past them all. And here we go. Oh, hey, look. It's uh, Benga. I'm not sure if he actually said his name. His name's Benga, by the way, Alder's grandson. He's not the boss trainer here. He's just working his way up, battling this guy. Looks like he's just beaten him. So let's see if we can do the same. Weird thing is that he was just beaten, but his Pokemon are all at full health. Doesn't really make much sense. Because he can't use items in here, but maybe... Maybe Boss Train is allowed to cheat, I don't know. Boofalons. Level 59, gosh. That's uh, pretty... pretty scary, actually. And it's holding a muscle band. Well, uh, yeah, that is actually quite terrifying. Let me just... I'd love to set up a trick room against this guy's team because I got a feeling that he's going to just use powerful Pokemon that are all going to be faster than me. But I don't think Cathita can survive a hit, even with the Eevee like that, with that, you know, muscle banded boofal from a muscle banded boofal on. So let me just intimidate it first with Sandile. It's going to hit me with Head Charge. Not Sandile out because Sandile's not that defensive. Uh, how much defense is uh, not not great, but with the Eevee Light, it's probably enough. I would hope to set up Trick Room. Really would love that Trick Room. So let me just try it. Oh, it has Mega Horn as well. Should have figured, I guess. Oh, but I survived. L great. What a legend you are, Gafita. What a little legend. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't want to switch out or anything, because that would that would be bad if it decides to hit something with a stupidly powerful attack and kill it instantly. Right, so that is uh, two turns of Trick Room. I want to try and make these Trick Room turns go by as fast as possible. No, no, I mean, no. I, what I mean is I want to make the use of the most of these Trick Room turns cause as much damage as possible while Trick Room is up. And that's what I meant to say. So I'm able to knock those blue ones out with Timber's superpower. And that was turn three of Trick Room, got two turns left. Should be able to knock this Swanner out with Magnemite's Thunderbolt. So let's do that right away. 
without having to take a nasty hit. Oh wait, it's got a Wackenberry. Well, it didn't even matter. <laughs> Guess it just two times damage was enough. Okay, one more turn and it's got and he's got a Scolipede. I guess Litz would be pretty good then. Hit it with the flames there. Hopefully do enough. I guess we'll see. If it doesn't do enough, it'll still do, at least do a heck of a lot. This is the last turn of Trick Room though. And there we go, it was enough. Great. Yeah, for these boss fights it's better for me to just set up Trick Room as soon as possible, I think. Because these guys, you know, there's some pretty hard hitters here. Best to try and hit them before they hit you, really. At least in my case. Well, so starting with Area 4, the area has become much larger, so it's harder to find the gate trainer. Well, guess. I think I'll take on Area 4 now. I'm not sure how many more areas I'll take on. Area 4 might actually be the last one because, well, not only does it get, get a little repetitive, but also the Pokemon get much tougher. And I don't know that my team would be strong enough to keep challenging through the areas. Okay, so let me just rearrange my team a little bit. Just a tiny bit, and there we go. That's all I really need to do. Okay, one more area. Area 4. Let's go in there. So, what have we got in here? Looks pretty similar to other areas. But it's only the first room, so what do I know? So, a social financial group apparently built this place. For some reason. You see, they keep giving you these snippets of information, but they never really lead anywhere. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really. I'm not really bothered about that kind of information, but. But I guess, you know, <coughs> if you're interested in that kind of thing, it's always. it's there. Alright, this guy is not the gate train. I didn't find him on the first try this time. Okay, let's see what info he gives me though. Let's see if he gives me some good information. We got an emulga. Well, that's always good to set up a trick room against. Emulga are pretty fast. Is it this emulga again? The one with the light screen on it. Acrobatics is what uh, the other thing it used, wasn't it? Um, hmm. Well, I might just go into Sandile actually, you know, because if it's the same Emolga as before, and I can intimidate it, then hopefully Acrobatics won't do too much. And I can hit it with Rock Side or something. Oh, I just went with Thunder Wave this time, that's that's fine too. Hit it with Rock Side. If I get a flinch, that'd be even better. Hey, look at that. It totally worked. Does Emolga have... Oh, I can't remember what... I think it does have Static, I don't want to... Go for crunch in case you get paralyzed. I mean, Rockside might miss, so otherwise I would have gone for crunch there, but it didn't, so that's that's good. Fero. Well, Cita has Thunderbolt. How many turns has it been? Ah, uh, it's been four turns of Trick Room. I've only got one turn left. So, um. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure about Gothita's Thunderbolt because then it will just outspeed and probably knock me out of the sky. Let's go with Oshwat's Ice Beam instead. Because if Trick Room runs out, I can at least use Aqua Jet on the next turn. Seem to have countered right. Go for that Ice Beam. See if it knocks it out or not. Oh, what? Oh, jeez, yeah, Light Screen, of course. How could I forget? Oh, I totally forgot about that light screen. That is terrible. That is awful. Well, sorry about that, Oshawott. I think I'll just have to go into Mag 
Oh right, yeah. Oh, geez, you're gonna pull that, pull one of those, are you? You're one of those, Theo, huh? Let's see how it is. If it had something like drill run, that would just ruin my day. Hey, look at that! What a surprise! I really gotta stop calling this kind of thing. Well, that one did not go so well. This battle. Do, huh? Yeah, it looks like a few of my Pokemon sort of got a bit crippled there. I completely forgot about that light screen. Okay, the gate trains to the southwest. That is useful information. Means that well, there's nobody in here anyway. This is the southwest. So one of these could be the gate trainer. It's possible. Should I try the man or the woman? Well. I already put a man already in here, so let's try fighting a woman this time. Logic. <laughs> well, this is not the gate trainer. Ew. Rainbow colored skyscraper. I could think of better ways to spend your money. Like on a new haircut. Oh well. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez, I would just love to go into Magnemite to deal with this, but I can't. I could go into Litwick though, that's no problem. Litwick can deal with it just fine, I would think. Yeah, see, look at that. Bergwaz will just not do very much. And I can set up the Trick Room too. It's good stuff. Oh, come on. No, don't do that. Okay, well I got off the trick room, but this might end up wasting a few trick room turns if it attracts, just stops me from attacking. Let's hope it doesn't. Oh, cool. Let's make don't need no woman. Yeah. Okay, uh, Haunter. Got choices. I don't think Athena would knock it out with Psychic. I think Litwick might be able to knock it out with Shadow Ball. Litwick has more special attack, I think I'm more confident in Litwick. I'm more relatively confident in Litwick's abilities to take it out with Shadow Ball. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that battle went much better than the first one. Standing still. So it could be this guy. Theoretically. Oh, I don't know. Um, let's try southwest again. Okay, I can't actually go southwest apparently. Again, maybe it is this guy then. Uh, let's let's have a look. I suppose. Are you the gate trainer? Are you the gate trainer? You're not the gate trainer. Okay, so uh, there are more places southwest. Fair enough. I guess southwest doesn't necessarily mean directly in a straight line southwest. It could be that guy below. There. Or was he standing still? I can't even remember. Right, so uh, he keeps sending out these water types that I think, oh, it'd be great if I could use Magnemite for this, and then. But I can't, obviously. Let's do this, set up the trick room then. See, look, I can just go in and go in on a drill pack, take like no damage, and knock it out with Thunderbolt after I set up the trick room, but that's not going to happen, is it? Because Magnemite's at 1 HP. 1 HP is not good for... well anyway, we'll use... Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Did I set up a trick room and then... Oh. Was I faster than Primplup? What? Okay. Oh well. Uh, yeah. I guess I was faster than Primplup. I didn't expect to be. Okay, fine. Still okay. I did mean Cathedral took uh, some unnecessary damage though. Oh, and he's got some Flora as well. Some Flora is super slow. Question is, is it slower? It can't be slower than Litwick. Litwick is like the slowest thing known to man, for goodness sake. Well, not quite, but you get. But Litwick, Litwick is very slow. Some Flora is slow, but surely Litwick would be slower. Surely. It is. It is. I thought so. 
Right. Ludwig is doing is doing pretty well for itself at the moment. To the south, okay, so it's to the south of yeah, right, it's to the south of here. Okay, so maybe it is this guy. No, he's not standing still, so it can't be. Oh, I want to avoid him, but these guys. Stop, stop. Uh. Right, okay. I'm just going to wait here until you get the heck out, out of the way. Don't. I'm not here. You can't see anything. You saw nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You can go in another direction already, will you? Go away. Thank you. Phew. I was wondering if there's any real point in leading with the Theta with such low HP. Probably not, so I'll go in to Litwick instead. Oh, there's two of them. They're both standing still. Hmm. It could be one of these people. Let's try you, because you're nearest. You're not the gate trainer either. So it could be the other guy in this room, or it might be someone completely different. Not sure how far this area goes. All right, this could be this could be okay, Apong. Unless it, I don't, I can't think of any dark moves it would know, or any ghost moves really. Unless it just was tossed a TM or something. Okay, went for Screech. That doesn't really tell me much about it. Oh, okay. She's totally withdrawn it, so that means no, it can't hit me. Okay, this is good actually, because I think two flamethrowers will knock out this dog trio. Actually, okay, one flamethrower will knock this out this dog trio. Well, I guess that's that's good. Gosh, literally, it's just making a killing here. Not making a killing. Not making any money from this. What am I talking about? Oh, look at that! Look at that power! I want to see what she has to say about the gate train or about... I think uh, somebody on Area 1 or 2 said that they could sometimes tell you about... Do yeah, okay, I already know that. Um, well, you can't go any further south than this, so maybe... Maybe it is this guy. Uh, I, I think it's probably best still to leave the lit to it so I can set up the trick room if I have to. Yeah, there we go. Thought it might be you. And it is. I would love to find a doctor before I face the boss trainer. But I have to beat this guy first. Well, that's uh, definitely a fast Pokemon. Let me just switch right out of there, though. Keep the, keep the damage to a minimum. Go into Sandile. Hopefully resist the electric type attack I assume you're going to be using. Or not, you're going to go Screech. If it blows up, that would be so annoying. Don't you dare blow up. Okay, oh, well, that's, that's good. Gyro Ball when you're much faster than me. Gyro Ball on the fastest Pokemon in the game. Volt, Voltorb and Electro. You know, that that line of Pokemon. Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess from an aesthetic point of view it makes sense. Spinning in a, a ball kind of thing. Eh, uh, Panpour. This isn't actually that good. I will... Uh, what's the best thing to do? Maybe hope that Timber can knock it out with a superpower because it's just so dang powerful. That might be my best option. Let's just go for the superpower. Hopefully I can survive a hit, for goodness sake. Okay, that's fine, no problem. Let's hit it. Yeah, there you go. Raw power, right there. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> what? I didn't... No, I didn't spend money. I spent my time, my effort, and my love 
That's what it really takes to raise a good Pokemon. To the northeast, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's see. I've got to find this doctor. Okay, so that's there's the gate. But I need to find a doctor. But this area is apparently pretty big, so. But I haven't seen one yet. So it's got to be an area I haven't been in. Oh, great. It's one that, I hate these kind of guys. They just walk around all over the place. And it's, I kind of like to go to the right, but he's milling around over there. Oh, because the doctor's right here anyway. Uh, should I? Yeah, I should probably still be little bit quick, just in case. That trick room might come in handy. Well, thank you very much, but yeah, we'll have to beat you first, obviously. Dr. Genpaku. Do they just not bother translating some of these from Japanese? Or... There's quite a few, you know, foreign sounding names in here. I think. Uh, yeah, hmm, should I trick room? I probably should anyway. Even though I'm sure I could, I, I, I could just definitely knock this tack me out in one flame throw without going for it, but... If it's other Pokemon turns out to be something fast and powerful, then I would love the trick room to be up. So let me just go for that and then hit it with flamethrower. And then what have you got? Curlia. Well, I could use Litwick, but Litwick has got. Litwick. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said it's trick room after all, but you know. Do not want to. You know what, let's go for, let's try Gothita, let's just see what happens if I go for Foul Play or something. You know, if not, I could just knock it out with Sand Isle or something, but... But Gothita's so close to that level! So close! Oh my gosh, I'm holding an Eevee light, I didn't even know it. Okay, it looks like this Curly is actually slower than my Gothita, and therefore faster in the Trick Room. But it's going for Double Team right now, so maybe it doesn't really know much to hurt me. I can hit it with another foul play. Yeah, there we go. That's good stuff. Yeah, level 58. This is good. This is great, actually. Cathita has pretty much caught up, I think. You know, well, it's at the same level, at least. It probably needs a bit more experience. But, you know, it's much, much closer to the others than it was before. Okay. Put Lutig out in front of... Oh, I sure what needs some experience now. Couldn't really give it to it while it was fainted. Um, right, so let me just... Yeah, I'll put the feet out in front again. Just so... Oh, don't you dare go that way. Come on, just... Right, then. You, you know what, I'm just going to leave and then come back. And hope you're somewhere else. That's better. That's much better. Thank you for being cooperative. Okay, here we go. Here is the boss trainer. Um, hmm. Yeah, Cathedral in front is probably my best option. So I can set up that lovely trick room. <laughs> None of you even know. Can't you just, you know, use your eyes from the outside or something, or look at the lift and say, and see how many buttons it has for what floors and stuff? A giggle if. Huh. Now, giggle is just slow, so I don't know about setting the trick room against this guy. But what can I do instead? I don't know what it's going to go for. I have various options for this Gigalith, but the problem is it's sturdy. Um, if I went for a contact move on Magnemite, then I could just easily knock it out with a... something. Maybe I should... No, I don't know. This is really tricky, actually. I've got so many options, but I just don't know which one's the right one. Uh, well, maybe Sandal could take some attacks from this Gigalith. I mean, it's rock moves, it will resist, and I can intimidate it. 
and I can hit it with earthquakes while being faster. Even after that bulldoze, I'm probably still faster. So I'll go for this earthquake. Okay, it's gone for iron defense. That is. Ooh, that's touching. No, I don't think I can hit it and knock it out with another earthquake in that case, but it'll be close, but I don't think I will. But that doesn't really matter because. Well, it might end up mattering. Oh, well, never mind, it just knocked me out. I see. What now? Well, Oshawa needs the experience most, I guess, so I guess I can just knock it out with Oshawa. No real downside. Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter. A surf, aqua jet, whatever. I'll be faster than it anyway. Um, oh well, I'll just, even, even with the iron defense, there's no way it's gonna survive an aqua jet. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's one of that Pokemon down. One of mine down too, though. Durant. Oh, jeez. If this guy knows Dig, that would just kill me. Because I really want to set up the Trick Room, but if it knows Dig, Ashley, no. Oh man, I didn't. You're completely messing me up here. What if it does know Dig? That's the thing. Uh, you know what, I kind of just want to stay in with Oshawa and hit it with Surf. Because at least, uh, at least, uh, you know, at least I know that, well, unless there's Thunderfang or something stupid, then I don't think it can knock me out, out with anything. Never mind, apparently Axis is powerful enough to knock me out instantly. Gosh. I think it knows Crunch, too, so I don't want to go into Litwick. See, this is why it would have been great for me to set up Trick Room earlier, but I just... Wasn't sure I could survive with anything from. That's okay. I can at least paralyze this guy. And it... okay, yeah. So well, it didn't go for dig instantly, which is good. That probably means it doesn't have it. And now that I'm paralyzed, I'm much less scared of this Durant. I'll just hit it with some thunderbolts now. It'll probably go down in two thunderbolts. Because its special defense is kind of low. Okay, that's fine. If that's the best thing it has, then that's... Well, that's, it's actually still did well. It was a critical hit, but... Yeah, it still did a heck of a lot, obviously. Well, I guess it all comes down to what this last Pokémon is. I was worried about this Durant, I mean... I don't know what... The, I mean, I guess it's possible that the last Pokémon could just knock me out completely. But not if it's a Surviper. If it's a Surviper, I'm not too worried. Um, well, it might know a dark move, but still, still, I just thought that a Cathedral with Eevee like, could take a hit, even if it does know a dark move. So I can just, uh, let me set up a Trick Room, it has Black Sludge, that's not too threatening. Oh, never mind, it just went for Poison Fang. That's fine then. Okay, I've got I'm I've got this in the bag now. I can just hit it with some psychics. And if Cathedra gets knocked out, I'll be able to knock it out with something else. Cathedra's not going to get knocked out though, is it? I can just hit it with another psychic, and that'll be that. All right. Phew. Well, that was. I actually got a little worried in that battle. That Durant, I was. Just uh, all these possibilities flashing through my mind about what crazy music could know, but but fortunately it was okay. Still, I'm not. I mean, I, I suppose it's possible that I might be able to save an area five in my with my current team, but I'm I'm not really convinced that that's a good idea right now. So uh, next time, I'm not sure where I'll go next time. There are a few places I could go. I could go. There's a few places I could explore, definitely. I could go through Playtime, I could go through Twist Mountain, I could um, just go west from Opal Usage, and those are all ways of reaching Isura City. And I could also go uh, south from Castelia to get to Nacreen City. Uh, but yeah, 
I'll decide what to do next time, I suppose, and uh, you'll find out on the next episode. See you then.